Good morning, I'm Olivia. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Flex Chair Yoga class and a very happy holiday to you all. This will be our last class till the new year, but I'll send out more. <laughs> I have a person in Israel that watches. And she always responds. It's so sweet. Yeah, I should let you read it because I don't. Do you, do you speak Hebrew? Can you read Hebrew? Yes. Okay. She writes back in Hebrew, but they, YouTube translates. Seven hours ahead. Yeah, I know. Yeah. She, she'll get it. Like if I send it out Sunday, I wake up Sunday morning and she's done it. And then she'll respond. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet. I, I wish she could be here. <laughs> yeah. All right, settle on. Yeah. Settle on into the back of chair. Close your eyes. This is a busy time of year. You've given yourself to be permission. You've given yourself permission to be here. And just savor the moment. The moments. The rest of the morning. And early afternoon. A couple of nice deep breaths. Take the deepest breath you've taken. Open your mouth. Exhale. And eyes open. Let's move to the edge of the seat. All right. Feet underneath the knees or ankles underneath the knees right there. And then from here, we're going to find the tip of the sit bones oh, by tucking the tailbone underneath you. Scoop in that belly. Pull that navel right towards the spine. I am not back on the chair. I have just sunk in and tucked that tailbone underneath you. And then roll to the very tip of the sit bones. All right. And stretch the crown of the head even taller. Scoop in the belly. Roll back. And then roll back up. Nice and tall. So try to let everything up here just relax and really make this just the low half of the body. So the shoulders are going to relax. And roll back up. One more time. And back. All right, so this time we're going to roll back and then we're going to come forward, downward, look towards the earth. Pull out to that flat back. My hands are on my thigh muscles, that little baby cobra. And then pull back up, right? So we're going to scoop the tailbone underneath. And in this C shape, this round, we're just going to dive forward, look towards the earth. You should feel a nice stretch across the back. Belly is pulled in, please. Heart comes forward in that little baby cobra, and we push right back up. Are you feeling that? Yes. Okay, let's do it one more time. So we tuck the tailbone. This is, yes, modern dance stuff, right, Kelly? Scoop forward. And then let the heart come forward. You work the back then, and all the way back up. All right, nice and tall. Roll the shoulders around. See if we can make this really big, like that fish was that big. All right, and then again, why are one more time all the way down? All right, so we move up into the rib cage, and this is what I call coffee grinder. So I'm just moving the ribs around. Notice you're staying even on the sit bones, it takes a little focus and a little concentration. That belly is pulled in as you do this. Are we getting this? Yeah. And then to see if you can switch and go the other way. And pat what cute socks you have on, too. <laughs> you have to see Mary Beth's over here. I thought she had her feet all hennaed up. <laughs> all right. And then nice and tall. And let's get into the hips a little bit more. We're starting, to start starting from the tailbone down today. We're going to roll around. <clears throat> Feel pretty good too. And then let's go the other way. And one more. All right. Walking the feet 
in. Let's bring the soles of the feet together. You should be sitting at the edge of the seat right here. And then just let the knees drop over. I'm gonna to begin to open them just a little bit. See if that's accessible to you here. Just a little press open. Sit tall, sit tall. All right, and release all the way back. Up comes that right knee. Circle the ankle. All right, and then we're gonna press out. What I'm gonna do is roll the tailbone underneath me, press out, and then inhale, lift back up, bring it up. Support it if you need to. Exhale, scoop in that belly, and inhale, lift. Again, everything's sort of relaxing up here, so I'm not crunching down. I'm just rolling the tailbone underneath me. One more time, press. Drop it down, nice and tall, and we're gonna hinge at the hip. I'm gonna use my left hand here. Nice straight back here and let that get into that stretch, come into the hamstring right there, bringing the heart forward. The moment you look down, it goes away. So bring the heart forward, and then maybe hinge a little bit more, look down, use those hands and push off all the way back up. Up with you comes the other leg. Circle in the ankle first. <laughs> look at those antlers sticking up. <laughs> okay. Oh, keep them on, it's so cute, I love it. I love it. Wait till you see our secretary today. She's got that, um, it's the Grinch, the little Suyu Lu Hu, the little thing. It's say just like that. So funny. Press back. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, scoop in that belly. Separate the shoulder blades. Still in control of all of this though, right? Press back. And if you need to grab underneath, that's okay. One more time. And all the way. Did we circle around one time? Yeah, something like that. All the way up. Circle around. We're going to drop that foot. Now sit up tall. Straight back. Hinge at the hip until you feel those hamstring, that hamstring in the back of your leg. Say, oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. It's all related to that back. Nancy, deep breath in. All right. Release down. Round back up. And we'll begin to add a little rotation here. All the way around. I'm gonna wash the wall here right in front. If you need to take the hands low, go ahead and do that. Want a little movement, you wanna pull that belly in as you do that. And again. Leave that right hand there, take the left hand there. We're gonna start down low, pulsing back. Four, three, two, one. Now up a little bit higher, turn the palm to the front. Four, three, two, one. One, up a little bit higher, palms back, push. Really feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Four, three, two, and then switch again. Drop the shoulders, four, three, two. And we're gonna go side to side. I'm gonna take my feet apart just a little bit, so a little extra balance here. But again, notice you are on both sit bones. You're not riding up. You're gonna keep this one down. And again, I love to use this image that I'm picking something up. It's about three pounds right there. So I'm scooping it up here on the side. And again. All right, so we're going to leave that left arm up there now, followed by the right. Hinge at the hip. Forward fold. Look towards the toes. Halfway rise. Heart comes forward. Let's release back down just a little bit. Now, that left hand, or right hand, two choices. You could put it in the back pocket. Well, three, actually. You could send it out to the um, right wall, or you can lift it. Release back down. We're gonna switch to the other hand. Same thing, out to the side, back pocket, or lift. Belly in as you twist, look that way. And all the way back down. Reverse one dive all the way back up. Lovely. Hands come together. We're gonna take our up and down five times, and you can use the hands. Just get yourself up, all right? If, you wanna, if that's not gonna work, just go ahead and take some leg lifts. Come up on the fifth one, all right? Deep breath in, exhale, we lift, rise up. Strong legs, sit back down. Let's see if we can brush the hands off and reach into star pose. Oh, so lovely. And back down. And again, three. Two more. And one more time. Inhale, we lift, hold this up here. Drop your shoulders, everybody, and come into star pose as strong as you can be. Grab the ground or your sneakers with your toes. Feel the feet really there so the legs get strong. Turn the tailbone to the ground so the knees are gonna soften just a wee bit. 
drop your shoulders, ribs and hips connected. Yes. Bring the hands together and all the way down. Walk your feet in. All right, let's go around to the back. Grab a drink of water. And we shall continue back there. I shall grab another one since y'all are still drinking. All right, downward facing dog first. Step on back. Lowering the heart towards the earth. Point that tailbone to the back wall. And let's do this. Point it to the back wall. And then what I want you to do is tuck the tailbone underneath. Well, you're not going to get it underneath it, but you're going to drop it down. So you're going to scoop that belly. And then go the other way. Point the tailbone to the back wall. Soften the knees as much as you need to. So we've got this pelvic tilt going on here. All right? So to the back wall tucked underneath. You should feel a nice stretch in the low back when you do that. One more time. And back. And then hold this downward facing dog. Come to some stillness. Tap into your breath right away. See if you can lighten up on the hands a little bit. So the weight is over the feet more. Looking over the chair, step that right foot in, and we're going to lift that left leg out to the side and back. So a little more work in the hip right here. I'm going to reach forward and back as I do this. Maybe a little figure eight, whatever you'd like. But just wake up, get the juices flowing in the hip right there. And again. Nice. You get real good. Maybe you don't need a hand. But don't try that. <laughs> One more time. All right, so step out to the side. I'm going to keep my right hand on the chair and come into some sunflowers. Use the chair if you need to. Don't if you don't. Deep breath in. Exhale. Hinge at the hip like you're going to scoop up and then let it go. And again, scoop it up. You don't want to bend down. If you're not supposed to be bending down just right now, that's okay. Or don't feel like you have to. And again, push through the feet. Let the feet and the legs drive you back up. One more time. And then right hand to the chair. Bend that left knee. We're going to arc over towards the chair. Oh, that's a nice stretch. <laughs> All right, come back up. Both hands on the chair. Step back to downward facing dog. And any movement you need now, whatever feels good, get out the kinks. It's okay. All right, taking the gaze over the chair. We're going to step in on the left foot, and we're going to take the same thing with the right foot. Out and in. Warm up that hip. Swing it around. Get it up high. Whatever feels good. Don't kick your neighbor. <laughs> and again. Hand forward or back, maybe try it with no hands, whatever you want. But nobody falls, please. <laughs> and again. All right, so out to the side. Start a star pose, drop your shoulders, and this time we'll take those moon flowers. Use the chair if you need to. Sink into the knees, lower and right back up. So what I want you to imagine is you've got your back on this wall behind you, okay? So I'm just going to lower, and we're not going to hinge forward. We're just going to drop down, sink down, and right back up. And again. Two more. Last one. All right. Left hand on the chair. Bend the right knee and arc over towards the chair. Get a lovely side stretch. Turn the gaze towards that right arm. Maybe look a little more skyward. All right, both hands on the chair. Step back to downward facing dog. And again, breathe. Move a little bit. All right, let's bring the hands back to the thigh muscles. And feet are in um, mountain pose right there, so the heels would be under the sit bones. All right, we're going to reverse swan dive all the way back up. Forward fold, halfway rise. We're going to halfway slide down. Then we're going to take this right arm out to the side, maybe higher. You decide and switch. 
we go the other side and switch circle sweep into chair pose powerful pose tailbone to the earth sink a wee bit deeper and rise back up deep breath in all the way down shake out all right a drink of water All right, so mountain pose behind the chair. So for me, my mountain pose means, of course, if you're on the diagonal, it's different, but it, it's about a block width apart. In other words, just not wide and not together. Comfortably apart, turn the tailbone towards the earth a little bit, soften the knees, broaden the collarbones. That image always works for me when I feel like, um, how do I stand tall? Broaden the collarbones, pull that belly in, that'll help you do that. Maybe close your eyes, hands near the chair. Just come tap into your breath right away. And see if you can remember how calm it was when you sat there in the seat. Get it right back. Let's add a little bit of movement. Bring that breath up. Let go of that stress. <laughs> Bring in the good stuff. Hold on to it. Bring up that bad stuff, let go of it. <laughs> Bring in the good stuff, hold on to it. And again, so with your own breathing rhythm, we all breathe a little different, it's okay. Again, one more. And exhale. All the way back in. And down. Now stay down, reach to the ceiling. Drop your shoulders, little bend in the knee, and as you come up, we're gonna lift that right foot and send it right back using the chair if you need to. Come up into warrior one. You can be close railroad tracks, you can be wide, you could be goalpost arms, but drop your shoulders down. Back leg is straight. That heel is reaching into the ground. That front knee is over the ankle. You don't have to be as wide as I am. Just be sure you've got that happening right there. And again, we're gonna wash the wall this way this time. Side to side. And again. Exhale as you twist to the left. Inhale to the right. Exhale. Inhale to the right. Lead that hand back. I'm going to follow it this way. Now hinge at the hip, squeezing the shoulder blades. You're going to squeeze this imaginary beach ball right behind your back. Then slide the shoulder blades down by the tailbone. Feel that neck get really long. All right, we are gonna challenge the back right now. You can use one hand on the chair or both of them up and they're right here by my ear. So long line from the thumbs to the heel. Taking the gaze forward, heart up, step that back foot in a little balance for a moment and down. All right, lovely, deep breath in. Reach to the ceiling and sink into that knee and I'm gonna lift that left foot, shoot it way back, use the chair if you need to. And we come into warrior one. Drop your shoulders. Yeah, settle into this. Find your perfect warrior one. What feels good in your body? How do you feel secure? You ground through the feet, you strengthen the legs, maybe a little squeeze in the inner thigh. And if you need that chair for any reason, go ahead and get it. We're gonna inhale going to the left, exhale going to the right. And if you need that chair, just switch hands each time you turn, it's okay. Notice as you, as you go to the right, that squeezing that is gonna help you exhale. So feel that rib cage help you exhale. If you get good, you can follow your hands. Look at your hands instead of beyond. One more time. Leave that left hand there, follow by the right. Here's where we take that hinge. You're gonna squeeze that basketball. Squeeze the shoulder blades, slide that down by your heels. And now we challenge the back. Fire on the core muscles, one hand on the chair. Lifting it up, lifting it up as high as you can. Stretch and hold. You've loaded up that front leg right there. And reach to the ceiling, step both feet in. Little balance there as you come in. And step back so you don't hit your face. <laughs> Halfway rise. 
and sink a little bit lower. I'm gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Bend the knees, maybe let the ribs come on to the thigh muscles there. Tap into your breath here, don't hold it. And we're gonna reverse one dive all the way back up. And down, nice and slow, get near the chair if you were dizzy from that. We did let the head drop a little bit lower than usual. Okay, grab a drink of water, come back. So wide standing mountain pose. A little micro bend, my feet are still working, toes are facing the front this time, so I'm getting a really nice stretch in the outside of the leg. In fact, let's just deepen that a little bit. I'm gonna sink into this knee, and this outside edge stays on the ground. Hold on, belly in. Look to that left wall, so turn the chin. Look back to the ground, come on back up. We go the same thing on the other side. You want to keep that baby edge, grab in the ground, keep that baby toe in your shoe or on the ground. Tailbone to the back wall, it's a one-legged squat. Look to the right wall, turn the head. Come right back all the way up. All right, hands on the hip, lift the heart. Oh, it's going in the closet. <laughs> lift the heart. And let those elbows sort of point to the side walls, maybe even back a little bit. I'm going to soften my knees. And I'm gonna hinge at the hip, bring the heart right towards the chair. Feel the toes fire on when you do this. And push right back up, use the toes. What I want you to be sure you're not doing is as you hinge forward, see how my hips go back? I want you to stay right over the toes. Come with me again. And then push right back up. Those toes are so important to balance. We wanna keep them strong and flexible. And again, hinge at the hip, elbows back. It's like you're gonna to try to tap your heart or your throat right there. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this in closer to me because I'm gonna come over with my left hand all the way down. Now, I don't know, some of you are a little shorter, you may have a hard time getting there. You can come to the heel, you can come to the knuckles of your hand, and then from here, I'm gonna lift that right shoulder on top of the left. Two choices, again, hand in the back pocket or hand reaches to the ceiling. Now, what I want you to notice is have you push the hips over to the right. So see if you can square the hips up again and let them move a little back to the left. Bring the belly in. Release back down, hands on the chair, come right back up. Let's take a little cat and cow here to release that back, deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around. Cool, and again. Tuck the tailbone and round. Scoop in that belly. That'll make that C shape even better. Two more times. Exhale. One more. And exhale. All right, we step the feet back in. We're going to take the other side. So now you know where you're going. Wide standing, wide standing mountain pose with twist, or twisted. Okay, nice and tall. Lift the heart. Press the knuckles back. Hands on the hips while the heart's lifting. Soften the knees, both of them, and hinge at the hip like you're going to touch the throat or the heart. Use the toes. Push yourself right back up. You'll feel the back of the legs fire on when you do that, too. One more time. Belly in. That's what supports your back here. And all the way back up. Now we're going to reach over. I need to move it a little bit closer with my right hand. And I'm going to be even using the back of the chair here for support on my back. And then lift that left shoulder on top of the right, hand to the pocket, or hand to the ceiling. Now notice, have your hips moved to the left as well. See if you can square them up. So come right back in the middle there. One more breath. All right, drop that hand to the chair, belly in, and push yourself right back up. Let's go back to downward facing dog now. Lovely. Any movement you need here? All right, from here, take the gaze over the chair and walk on in. Okay, 
I just want to show this, and this is going to be a lovely view for the TV. What I was saying, now you guys are looking at, see how my hips have pushed over this way? What I want you to do is try to bring them back to the center so I could essentially put a cup of coffee right here on your tailbone. Here, it would slip off. It depends on what time of night, because if it's at nighttime, I always say wine. But in the morning, a cup of coffee. Same thing here. See how my hips, and it's natural to, to do this. So you want to bring that back and then just twist in the body. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, have a drink of water. We're gonna, um, we're gonna balance. Because everything else in this world is a mess right now. <laughs> we're gonna try to balance. Don't watch the news, don't listen to it. Okay. And just come into our tree pose, Christmas tree pose today, all right? And I like to start by just working into the balance. So step out and bring that leg right back in. Use the chair if you need to. You see I'm bringing my leg up. Using the chair, don't use the chair. Your choice. All right, take one more, and then let's see if we can hold this balance just right here. Grab the chair if you need to. All right, press that supporting leg into the ground, and then we're gonna come into our tree pose. So this foot is gonna push into my calf muscle or sapling pose. Put the toe on the ground, that's fine too. Drop the toe down and just hold that there, your choice. One hand. And stay there if you'd like, or two hands at the heart. You've got this focal point, I want you to draw your attention to your breath right now. Maybe your tree has branches. And with intention, put that foot back on the ground. Hands together, candlestick pose. Draw this long line. And then stretch up. Go ahead and let the shoulders ride up. Let the ribs ride up. And we'll go over to one side. And then the other. And then let the arms just flow down to your side. All right, and we take the other side. And then step out and come back in. Woo. And again, come back in. Yeah, use the chair, it's okay. It's, it's okay if you do this. <laughs> just don't fall, use the chair. But that's, that's part of the body saying, whoa, I'm gonna get you all leveled out here, hang on. <laughs> That's good, that's a good thing. It's when that doesn't happen and you, over you go. That's not good. All right, so we're gonna hold this one just easy, easy, right here, the foot's from the ground. You're gonna find that focal point that's not moving. Tap into your breath, and then we'll come into our tree pose. You can turn the foot out, you can drop the toe to the ground to set for sapling pose. And then you begin to work on that balance. Posture begins when you're ready to come out of it, so stay. All right, and with intention, slowly drop that foot and the arms back down. Check out lots of red out there today. <laughs> I like it. Downward facing dog. back to the thigh muscles. Reverse swan dive all the way back up. Forward fold. Halfway rise. And circle sweep. Come all the way up. Beautiful reach to the ceiling and all the way back down. All right. Step in on the right foot and hands on the chair. We're going to work on warrior three next. All right. You know one and you know two. From here, my hands are on the chair. Now, I don't want you to fan them out. I want you to keep the elbows coming in nice and close. And I'm gonna hinge at the hip. 
my back foot's gonna lift and then I'm gonna come right back up. But squeeze these ribs, squeeze your ribs with your elbows there. Come right back up. That foot's gonna lift behind you. Watch it doesn't collapse to the side. Keep it wrapped right back in behind you. And again, and you don't have to take this deep at all. You can keep that foot there on the ground, that's fine. But let's find a place where you're gonna feel good and solid here. That supporting leg is really working hard. And here we stay. Soften that leg you're standing on, maybe one hand to the heart. Maybe to the back. Maybe the other hand. And maybe that's where you need to touch that toe down. You're gonna reach the fingers to the heel behind you. And as you come back up, drop that foot behind the other one, all right? And let's not let go of the chair. You get yourself in a position there where you can have one foot behind the other. And then see if you can balance. What? You feel the weight transfer and everything. As long as your brain's trying to love you, that's a good thing. Let's go the let's come from downward facing dog again. Step on back. Take some movement. Take a couple of breaths. Clear your mind. So we're gonna work on warrior three and then just um, standing mountain pose with that twist. Take the gaze over the chair, step that left foot in halfway between you and the back foot. You're gonna squeeze the rib cage with the elbows. Hinge, let that foot lift behind you and come right back up. You know, that little bird that tips over and drinks, he's got water in him, he's got red water in him. That's what you look like. So everything is nice and straight from the crown of the head to the heel. Working the glute and the hamstring and the back of the leg, fire it on, make it do this work. We want to keep our fanny strong because they help propel us forward and walk. They also help get us up off of that chair. All right, so you're going to find a place where you can hinge. Elbows in, elbows in, squeeze your ribcage, belly in. All right, little micro bend in that knee. Maybe one hand at the heart, maybe switch. Maybe one hand back, maybe both hand back. Squeezing the shoulder blades together here. Cold water down your back. And then I'm just looking about six feet in front of me here. Wow, amazing. All right, and as you come up, drop that foot behind. Get near the chair if you need to, to get yourself on balance again. Yeah, that's that's interesting. It's whoa. Yeah. All right. Step out. Star pose. Nice and tall. That's a nice da. Good work. Elbows out. Stretch in the back or stretch in the chest right there. Sink into the knees and stretch that upper back. And as you pull that tailbone underneath you, you'll stretch the low back. Look down towards the earth. And then hands on the thigh. You sink down deeper and round back up. Oh, shoulders up around. Shake out. Nice. All right, let's go sit back down. All right. And we're going to step the feet wide here and drop that right knee down towards the earth. I'm on the edge of the seat. If you aren't on the edge of the chair, you're not going to be able to do this for us. Go scoot on out there. And hold on to the chair, please, so nobody falls. And in this position, what I want you to do is drop that sit bone down. So drop that right sit bone down, and then lift it up. And you'll notice as soon as you drop it, you get a real nice stretch in that leg, the front of that leg. And lift it back up. We're going to drop it down. Hold it. Take that arm that's closest to me. Arc right over to the back. And you are dropping that knee and that sit bone down. You should feel a really nice stretch on that side. Breathe. All right, all the way up. Put that hand on that thigh. Look to the back wall. Nice twist. And then sit extremely tall. Look to the back wall. Don't look to me. Looking over that left shoulder. All right. Come on back to the front. We're going to stay right there. Slide that leg out to the side now. <laughs> Now, if you get a cramp in your hip right here, bring the heel in. That's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to reach the 
out, the outside edge of my foot is the furthest away. And then this elbow is going to come right to the chair. And I'm going to reach up. It's my wild thing version. Lovely. Also, a nice stretch on that side. Come to the chair. Come to the thigh muscle. Forward fold over it. I'm going to use my hand right here. And you take this as deep as you are comfortable. Deep breath in. Now scoop in the belly and round back up. All right. We go the other way. Dropping that knee down. I'm going to put the back of my, I should have said that before, the back of my right thigh on the chair right there. And then I like to ratchet it out, but it's up to you. If it can come right here, that's just fine. But because my left sit bone is off the chair, I'm going to drop it down and then lift it back up. So you're going to work those oblique muscles to lift that back up. Drop it down. And let it lift back up. And again, drop it down and lift back up, getting into that SI joint in your hip right there. Drop it down and lift back up. All right, so we're gonna drop it down. Hold that arm as closest to me. It's gonna arc over. You should really feel that. See if you can let that left leg there just relax and hang from the weight of it, but holding onto the chair, please. Breathe. All right, come right back out of it. Send that leg out to the diagonal there. Hand on the chair, elbow on the chair. It just reached to the ceiling. Maybe let it float over your head here. Nice side stretch, nice front body stretch. Lift the heart to the ceiling. Yeah, wild thing. All right, and then come back. Oh, we didn't turn to the back. So I'm gonna bring this foot back in just a little bit and look over the back of the chair there. Use your hands for support, one on the chair. on back. All right, so feet out in front. Let's take the heel on the ground first, and then I'm going to, we'll see if we can do both of them. I'm going to put hands on the chair, hold on, and then push into the heel the hand, lift the heart. Now, maybe this is accessible, maybe it isn't. I'm going to take the other heel on the ground in front as well, and lift the heart, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the back. Fish pose. Watch the head doesn't fall back. You want to keep it in alignment. The head's heavy, heavier on some people than others, too. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, both feet on the ground. I'm going to slide down the front here. So scoop in that belly, round down. Oh, I love that sound. Now stay here, breathe into the back ribs. Push your hands into the shins right there and lift the rib cage to the ceiling. One more breath. And then scoop in the belly, roll right back up. Let's lift the heart. Oh, that would be my version of rabbit pose. Yeah, <coughs> lift the heart. Let's do it again one more time. We're gonna slide down, pull that belly in, and then push into the shins. Lift the rib cage to the ceiling as you breathe. Oh my goodness, one more breath. And then slide right back up. All right, we're going to take that left hand over, grab the back of the chair, and hinge forward into this. And then maybe turning the gaze over the shoulder. Don't come forward, but don't come forward in the chair, please. I just did then. All right, come back up. We're going to go the other way. Same thing, crossing that arm. Reach back, and then hinge forward as much as you're comfortable so that back arm can go straight. Snuggle that pelvis into the back, but stay away from the back of the chair. I'm just going to extend my feet out in front and arms out. So as I twist, I'm going to drop one foot, maybe reach towards the toe, come right back up. Just give me the illusion of that, even if you can't touch it, it's okay. And again, stretch through that heel one more time. And back to the front, both legs out in front, press through that heel, and a little movement here. You can lower the legs if that feels okay to you if you need to. And then gas in the brake. And then the windshield wiper. All right. 
and then there's no place like home. <laughs> All right, so from here, like you're going to lift your great big sombrero off. You can drop the feet as much as you need to. Drop your shoulders. We call this L-sit. Stretch, lengthen. Even if your elbows are bent, lengthen through the fingers. And then we're just going to sort of collapse into the chair. So roll back. Let everything sink back down. Open the eyes wide. And close them shut. Settle in. Tap into the beauty of that breath. And then clench your biting teeth. Just come to some stillness. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Shrug the shoulders, move your head side by side. And then bring your hands together at your heart. Where there is love, there are great miracles. And where there are miracles, there's always great joy. And so with a joyful heart, Namaste. 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 All right, good job. Now, take a time, take a moment, go wash your hands. If you brought something for dessert, good Lord. <laughs> it's a pile of stuff out there. I'm going to ask you to take it out to the, um, the wooden table. I think I better open it up and put the stuff on there, okay? Because um, my husband's bringing a pizza, but it doesn't get here till 11. He's picking up at 11. That's the earliest they can do it. All right, so just take a few moments, talk among yourselves. Yeah. Everything's set up there in the narthex, so go find yourself a place.